attempted to smuggle these things into the curriculum of our children. We resisted it. Now you see what they have done. Tomorrow it will be in front page of of, 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 of newspapers of wide circulation. And then and then the next day they will go online. The, the day after that, they will roll out proper advertorials on our TV stations that we don't have control or regarding our children from, from viewing. So by and large, by the time we wake up as a country, our base is corrupted. And you, the elders, will go. By the time your children grow up, they are corrupted, they are, they are polluted. So that's all we are resisting. Like my brother said, the Honorable Kwame will give the duty, the chairman of my committee, will we'll be on recess for seven weeks. He refused to call a meeting for us to consider this bill. Meanwhile, we have 167 We've not considered more than 30. So we still have over 100 memos and petitions regarding this matter to consider. But our standing order says that when referrals are made to committees, it should not last more than three weeks. If you, if three months, if you, if you want extension of time, you ask the speaker to do so for you. So even the three months, the three month rule has been breached. So we are asking: Is he committed to doing this, or is not? If it's not, he should resign. He should leave the committee for another to come and chair the committee for the for the work to be done. Yesterday on the floor, he said he's been holding this indoor meeting. I am a member of the committee. Who authorized him to hold indoor meetings? He may be the chairman, but he doesn't decide for the committee. So he has been holding his private meetings with the people. That is why some of us have the strongest opinion that it appears that he has been compromised in this matter. Mm -hmm.